Hello. So you can guess from the title of this video what this video is going to be about. It might not be what you expect, and I hope you find it a little bit fun. Well, anyways, I recently did an outing, and Booper is in need of a cleaning. Um, so, a lot of people don't know that you're supposed to wash your shoes often. Uh, most people don't see us wash our suits because we do it behind the scenes, and we make them all nice and stuff, so when we go to do our presentation, or go out to have fun, or when we go public suiting, that our suits are nice and clean. All fursuits need to be washed and cleaned and maintained all the time. So that's what this video is about. Uh, don't be a musky husky. Uh, there are rules at conventions that if you go to a convention and your suit is a little bit uh, on the odorful side, that you can be removed from the convention. Uh, you do not want to be a musky husky at the convention. You definitely want to clean your suits regularly and be decent. Uh, there's lots of stuff, fursuit sprays, and uh, I use a special thing. Uh, what, here, I will show you what I use. So Boomer is very white, and uh, one thing I would not suggest for any fursuit, no matter what fursuit it is, chlorine bleach. This is avoided at all costs around fur. This will destroy your suit and, well, that's all she wrote. There are plenty of great alternatives. What I use for my suit might not necessarily be your choice. My suit is uh, mainly white, uh, a lot of white. So, you know, like I'm very prone to staining. I probably won't ever have another white Sona uh, but I will continue to uh, maintain a booper suit, whether I have to have a version 2.0, a 3.0, a 4.0. I'm always going to have a booper suit. It is probably going to be the hardest one to maintain. Just so you know, having a white suit is very, 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 very hard to keep clean. I have to be so careful at everything I do. I can't touch people. Uh, when people uh, try to give me hugs and stuff, I have to be cautious and just when I'm walking, I have to pay attention to where I'm walking because I don't want to get dirty. I just don't. Washing heads, hands, and body suits and uh, tails and feet paws are, uh, they each have their own set of care instructions. When you commission a maker, you're gonna want to have your maker uh, send along uh, cleaning instructions for your suit. Each maker has a different style or however they do, like certain eyes need to be covered up. If there's electronics like LEDs, then you're definitely not gonna wanna put them in submerged in water. You need to ask your maker for specific care instructions on how to take care of your suit. So some of the stuff that I would suggest that I use, um, I use Woolite. I almost dropped it. This is a uh, Woolite. Uh, it's for, uh, it's color safe, uh, no harsh ingredients. It's for delicates. I, I would definitely consider fur to be a delicate. Um, definitely. I, I suggest this. Another great brand of product that I use, and I am not sponsored by these people, by the way, OxyClean. I uh, use OxyClean because it is, uh, this is uh, OxyClean White Revive. This is for my suit because my suit is a lot of white. <laughs> I use this, this is the liquid detergent. So next, there are times when sometimes So sometimes I do carry OxyClean, uh, the spray and wash, and or sometimes shout. It just depends. You know, they're they pretty much do the same thing. Uh, I will like if I get something on 
my suit while I'm out in public. I will spray it, rub it in, and then wash as soon as possible. The longer you leave it in, the actual better it's supposed to be for stains. Uh, but I, you want to refer to labels and care instructions. Uh, certain types of things aren't great for fur. Um, I have tried these and I've found out that they work good. Okay, so there are some suits that I know that are machine washer compatible. And um, I have made a suit or two that I can throw in a machine washer. And I just use normal OxyPods. I like Oxy, uh, as you have seen. I've got plenty of Oxy products. Uh, I do use these uh, if I have to wash my hand paws. Like my hand paws, I can wash. Look at that, there's a, there's a hand under there. My hand paws, I can wash in a washing machine, and sometimes I do. Um, and I just use regular pods. They work good. But not only OxyPods. Tide Pods! <laughs> Everybody remembers these from back in the days. They are these little pod things. They come in many different styles and varieties. Uh, they're, they're, you know, like the most favorite, like, furry snack of all the, of, of the fandom. Like, can't get enough. I didn't eat the Tide Pod, guys. It's still right here. Like I said, color safe, whitening, chlorine free type, uh, uh, stuff. Another one that I use, the last one that I'm going to say, is OxyClean. I use it and it works good. Uh, you can use it in washing machines or um, I use this and I pre-soak with this. Okay, so the next item thing is when to wash your fursuit. There are many disputes about this. Um, some people wash them every use. Uh, which isn't bad, but you're gonna wear your suits a little bit. Uh, the weather your suits a little bit. Uh, from heavy use and heavy washing, uh, your suits will get worn. Um, me, like in my studio, I try to keep it cool in the house when I'm doing videos, and I try to wash it as much as possible, try to keep it clean and everything. But there are other people who say, they won't wear it more than two or three times and then wash them. I, th I think it depends on the amount of use also, whether if you go, like for example, if you wear it once and you only wear it for 10 minutes, as opposed to wearing it once, but you wore it for 10 hours, an entire convention, and you take it off and the whole thing is dripping with sweat, and the next day it's all sweaty because you didn't wear no deodorant and you're running around, and yeah. So it all depends on how much you use it. Uh, usually uh, you don't want your suit to have any form of odor or any of that. Judge accordingly um, and make sure your suits stay clean. There is also a little known trick in the fandom for people that do have the ability. A pet vacuum cleaner where we use these to clean our fur heads. We just clean our fur heads with them. This is this will spray uh, carpet cleaner, which does work for fursuits also. Uh, but I mix my own solution and use it. And I just brush up and patty up. And... So Boober is due for a washing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys into the bathroom and I'll show you how I wash pooper. Welcome to my bathroom. So in order to wash the fursuits, I normally come here to the bathroom. I normally get a really big tub, which I have to go get in a second. Uh, it, and I pour all my soaps and stuffs in there and I put my suit in there and I wash everything by hand. Um, I do this, but I know a lot of other suitors uh, can actually put their suits in washing machines and uh, it works just fine for them. But me, I like to wash my suit by hand. Uh, it gives me a sense of accomplishment and also I get to wash my suit by 
hand to I see uh, I don't know anyway so I will show you how I'm gonna wash it so first you want to take your water a cold shower would be nice and first too. and then uh, I guess for this one we'll just get it You got to lather up real good, get your soap, get your soap and you lather up real good, put it on, make sure you get behind your ears, yeah, wash behind the ears, Yeah. Woo, it's nice and warm. <laughs> yeah. So then after you're done washing, you get your towel, you dry off. <laughs> Alright, so that's not how you wash a soup, but I will show you now how you wash a soup. I gotta take these things up. Alright, so now the actual soup washing. I normally pour, okay, so we got our OxyClean. This is White Revive. I just normally pour uh, into my tub, just directly in here for hand washing my soap. It's probably way too much. But, yeah. I'll get my OxyClean and I'll pour it just straight in. And I will eventually sprinkle some of this on the suit. Agitate the water a little bit, get some suds in. Put the suit in. And then I'm gonna agitate it and pour some more oxy on here. This is what I do. It seems to have worked real good for me. So when I was showing you the soaps and stuff, I did not mention that there are scent packs um, for soup perfumes, and I've seen them at conventions. You can buy them, and I'm pretty sure there is they're great, but I don't always have that readily available. Sometimes I go ahead and use like the fireworks, um, and then there's other ones like Snuggle and stuff. I could just throw one in there. I'm not gonna do it just yet, but uh, towards the end when I start the rinsing all the soap out. Then I will go ahead and throw one in there. I'm gonna do my first rinse. I'm gonna dump all the water out and I'm gonna add more soap. <laughs> Cold water. And I'm gonna add a little bit more soap. So I'm gonna wash it twice. I'm gonna give it a double washing. So after I use the heavy duty cleaners on the first time, I'm going to use the wool light for delicates on the second run here. Alright, so now there's a couple reasons why I do it like this. I don't want to hang it straight up and down because when you get the water in there, water weighs about eight pounds per gallon. So when you get a couple gallons of water in there, your suit goes from, you know, five, 10, maybe 15 pounds to, of fur to 80 pounds of fur. So this is just gonna be straight water. And I'll probably rinse maybe two or three times to get all the soap out. I normally rinse, if I rinse it two or three times and there's still suds coming out, I'll go ahead and wash it a fourth time. 
But uh, also, too, I don't hang it up. Let me, let me stress this. I don't hang it up because it gets super heavy and that can stretch out the fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse again. I'm gonna squeeze out. I'm waiting for the for the water to drain. Squeeze as much water out of the suit as I can and rinse it again. I know it's not as bad for some people. But it tends to be an exhausting experience. Any long one of that. I go a little bit overboard and kind of weird they look like little floaty beads but they melt I'm gonna try to squeeze out as much water from it as possible right down here bring it in then I will it might get a little bit loud so <laughs> So I pulled all that water out. I'm gonna go pour this out and we're gonna go take it into the other room. And now the head. Just use normal laundry soap. This is what I choose. OxyClean, powder form. Drop them in like you're gonna strangle them. Die, furry! Just kidding. Pull them out. I'm gonna squeeze them out. 
get all the excessive water out of his head. Now, I'm gonna use this thing again. So after you wash, you want to brush it immediately. Oh, I need that other brush. I don't like this one. So I washed the digi. I have a partial tail that I took the stuffing out and washed it. That is the stuffing for my suit tail because I have two tails technically. And my hand paws. I took them out, washed them. I'm just waiting now for the suit to dry. And that's a wrap. Of course, I used a fursuit brush to brush everything. You can stick a fan near your suit, have air blowing onto them. Uh, use something to blow air, move some cubic feet of air around them. Uh, and it, it will help if you ventilate uh, to, to dry a little better. Um, if you can, you could take them outside, uh, the sun. I, I don't have a clothing line. And like that, we're done. Clean that suit, ready to wear, ready to go out, make some new furry friends, ready to go party. What do they say? Rinse, wash, repeat, or convention, rave, wash, repeat. Yay. <laughs> well, anyways, guys. Don't be a musky husky, or a dirty dingo, or a nasty wolf. Wash your fursuits. <laughs>